All right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Block. I'm excited to come your way right now with more exclusives from around the football world. But remember, before we continue, Chelsea tonight against Newcastle. What are your expectations? In about two hours to the game, I will come back with exclusives and my team prediction. My team prediction for tonight's game because we have some players that are a doubt. They are doubt for tonight's game. Ben Chiwe will be out. Levi Cole will be out. I'm yet to get a information on Conor Gallagher. I want to believe that he will also be out in tonight's game. What will be the formation? What will be the tactics tonight? My personal formation, my personal tactics, and my predicted lineup, I will come with that in later hours before the game. Dear friend, quickly, we are starting with some other news around the football world before we end with Chelsea. Yeah, there is so much on Chelsea. And before I go to those exclusives, we start with Liverpool and Manchester City game. The game ended 1-1 last night. It was an interesting match. Yes, personally, the game could have gone the way of Liverpool. But somehow, somehow, it ended 1-1. It ended 1-1. And Klopp, speaking to the press after the game, he said, Doku's challenge on McAllister. We all saw the challenge. He said, clear penalty for all football people on this planet. <laughs> clear penalty for all football people on this planet. The referee is not a football person. <laughs> the ref on the day, the linesman, the, the, uh, the VAR room official, they are not football people. Club says that it's a clear penalty for all football people on this planet. In all positions on the pitch, it's a foul and a yellow card too. Dear friend, that is what Club has to say regarding that incident in the game last night. Luis Enrique speaking again. He actually left Mbappe on the bench throughout the game, even when they were two two, they were playing two two. That he needed some magic. He still, well, the fact is Mbappe is going and he needs to, you know, do something different without him. So that in the absence of Mbappe, he still will not be lacking behind. So he played a game yesterday without Mbappe. Even though Mbappe was on the bench. Yeah, and this is what he said after the game. He said, I wish all the best to kill Mbappe for his future. He is a fantastic player. And even more as a person, I really wish him all the best. He told Prime Video. I wish him all the best. That is from Luis Enrique. He's taking tough decisions in the interest of the club. He is taking tough decisions in the interest of the club. All right. Cristiano Ronaldo. He said, I am happy to be in Saudi Arabia. Cristiano Ronaldo. CR7. I am happy to be in Saudi Arabia. Absolutely happy. I am happy to represent our NASA and for me, our season is positive because we have had a chance until now in all tournaments. We've had a chance until now in all tournaments. I'm happy with the club El NASA. Yeah, according to Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7 speaking out there. Okay, to Germany, to Germany, to Germany, to Germany. Jordan Sancho definitely does not want to return to Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag. He blames Ten Hag for the downturn in his career. So definitely, as a matter of fact, Jordan Sancho wasn't a bad player before he was born. But under, under Ten Hag, he lost form and a lot of things happened. And the player is now saying, he definitely does not want to return to Manchester United under Eric Ten Hag. He blamed the tactician for his downturn in career, according to the bill. According to the bill. All right. Now, back to Chelsea. Back to Chelsea. You see, a player that we sent on loan, Datro Fofana, Datro Fofana, on loan with Benley. Yes. He is just one of our players that are on loan that are doing great things, that are doing quite well. Datro Fofana. He, in three starts, Three games that he started, he scored four goals and an assist. Four goals and an assist. And he, oh, the, week, the game he played last night, the goal he scored. Honestly, that goal is a, a goal of the season contender. That throw for Fana's goal he scored yesterday was a, is a goal, you know, a season's contender, not a month, a, a month's contender, not this month's goal. No, no, no. The whole season is to contend for goal of the season. 
David Atro Fofana in the Premier League this season. Three starts, four goals plus an assist. It was an extraordinary goal by an extraordinary player. I like the development of the guy. I, I pray he continues because next season we might need him in Chelsea. In fact, not that we might, we will need him in Chelsea next season. All right. From David Datro Fofana to Mauricio Pochettino on whether he would be or he would ever consider quitting as Chelsea manager. Whether he would step down, whether he would decide to quit the job as Chelsea manager on his own. This is the answer he gave. No. 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 Why? Never. Never. That was the answer he gave. Emphatic no from Pochettino that he will not quit as Chelsea manager today. He will not quit as Chelsea manager tomorrow. He will never quit as Chelsea manager. But the point or the fact remains, if the owners want to get their job back from him, will he be able to stay there? No, that he will not have any power. But for him to leave the job, he will not. He will not. All right, dear friend. Lily have renamed one of their training centers after Eden Hazard. They honored Eden Hazard in France over the weekend. Just watch the video there, if you briefly. That is Eden Hazard. You can see there. They've named a pitch, they are one of their training pitches after Eden Hazard. Dear friend, what a beautiful moment in the life of Eden Hazard. Being honored there by Lily, a football club in League One. A football club in League One. And like I said to you before, David Dato Fofana has scored three goals for Burnley since joining them on loan in January. Okay, here the statistic we have is five starts for the Ivorian striker who has been strongly wanted by Vincent Company to win Sevilla competition. No buy option clause included in loan deal from. So I think the stats are a bit different here. I have to cross check and know the exact number of games he played. All right. All right. Jose Moreno, Jose Moreno, dear friend, maybe I'll have to end it on this note. Jose Moreno was being interviewed. He was in Egypt over the weekend or last week. Let me put it that way. And uh, with, with um, CR9, right? Yeah, with CR9 uh, for the final Egyptian Cup trophy to be presented. In fact, he carried a trophy at the stadium. And uh, he was being asked a few questions whether he wants to take a rest. Want to take go on the sabastica or what? And this is the answer he gave. The man is not willing to take a rest. Just listen to what he says. He said, I'm not in rest mode. <laughs> I want to work. I just don't want to make the wrong decision. I have to wait for the right one and the one that motivates me. If I could work tomorrow, I will work tomorrow. If I could work tomorrow, I will work tomorrow, but I want to wait for the one that will motivate me. That is Jose Moreno for you right there. Jose Moreno for you right there. All right? Dear friend, before I let you go, Fana, let me end with Phil Foden. Phil Foden is set to begin talks with Manchester City over a new contract that could make him one of the top earners at Manchester City. Phil Foden's contract is set to begin a new talk with City. And he is expected to be one of the top earners in the club, in the club city. All right. We are playing the game tonight against Newcastle. It is Newcastle. So I'm happy to come your way with the final news item on my list here. Newcastle scouts have discussed Pedro Neto. And it's thought a fee of around £60 million will be needed to do a deal with Wolves this summer. Liverpool are also interested. So Newcastle are working to sign Pedro Neto from Wolves this summer for £60 million. Pounds. By the start, Liverpool are also interested. Dear friend, on that note, let me leave you here. I'll be back with my predicted lineup in the next few hours. Watch out for that. Have a great evening. See you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.